everybody, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be fun because it's something I've never done before. And I'm gonna sit down and answer your questions. There are some questions that get left in the comments that are recurring, like eight people ask the same question about the same video. So I wanna sit down and address those today. There are also some of you that have requested specific videos, if that makes sense. So stick with me and you'll understand. So the first question that I want to address is based on my natural deodorant reviews. So I have two videos, one where I initially compare two of the major your players in the game which is Schmidt's deodorant and native deodorant so if you haven't watched that one I'll link that down below for you to check out in case you're interested so the first question that I want to address it says my mom and I used Schmidt's for a while and we noticed it was leaving oily stains on our clothes have you noticed any stains on your clothes from any of the natural deodorants that you've tried the answer is yes um, this has been asked to me in like eight different ways and so I figured I'd just throw it in here something that I did notice when I was using the Zion health clay dry deodorant it was actually in the winter but but, but I was running around at work and I ended up doing some sweating and I was wearing a sweater. It happened to be like a bright orange color and you could clearly see where I had been sweating. But even hours after it dried, because it had those oils mixed with it, I had like legitimate stains under my arms, which was pretty embarrassing. But I came home and coated it with like a stain remover and then I threw it in the wash and it ended up coming out. Now, some of my white shirts, I've noticed like a little bit of yellowing, but that can also happen with your aluminum-based deodorants. I don't think you can really win in that department with white shirts. I think you just have to be extra careful and maybe do some extra bleaching. But I don't know, there are ways around it and I do find that those stains come out as long as they're treated with a stain removing product. I think this next one is my most asked question because I have a ton of videos about away luggage. I'm not sponsored by them. They didn't send me anything. I bought the products myself. They're just something that I feel passionate about and I really like their products. So I like to talk about them and keep you updated because they're constantly releasing new products and they're just a fun brand to keep up with. So one of the main comments that I get all the time is saying, how does your discount code work? In the description box, I actually have a link that says you can get $20 off if you use my particular referral link to order your luggage. So what you do is you navigate to that link in the description box and you click on it. It'll take you to the Away Luggage website. And then from there, all you have to do is set up an account and then once you've done that, you add the item to your cart and you go to checkout and the discount will be applied from there. Now I've had some really helpful viewers who have actually answered this in the comments, but I figured I would just do a little tutorial and walk you through it. Another super popular video was one that I did about apps that help you save money. This was something that I got really excited about. It's just something that I use and that I'm passionate about. Level Money was one that I mentioned in that video and I think 95 people have commented below being like, Level Money doesn't exist exist anymore. Hey, did you know I can't find that in the app store? Why can't I find it in the app store? I think it's deleted. <laughs> it's one of those apps that like the features of it can be, you know, picked up by using some of the other apps that I suggested in that video. So it's all going to be okay. This is me to confirm level money has been deleted. These two last ones are actually a little longer. So I've saved them toward the end just in case you wanted to blast through the first three. But one of my most dedicated viewers, she comments all the time and says all of the sweetest things. And she asked, for request all the time. So one of the things she's recently asked me to talk about is some of my favorite makeup removing products. For me, I don't use like a separate makeup remover super often, only if I have like a lot of makeup on or if I know I'm wearing a particular mascara that might be stubborn. But I have two products here that I wanna share with you. The first thing that I use a lot are these e.l.f. hydrating water cleansing cloths. These blue e.l.f. wipes are $1 pricier than the ones that you're used to seeing with the black packaging, but these I think perform a lot better. They're more saturated, and I think that's because of the whole hydrating water claim. You get 20 wipes, it's $4, and I typically use these before I go to the gym. So if I've been wearing makeup at work all day, I'll typically use these wipes to take most of the makeup off before I go so that I'm not like sweating and clogging my pores with all sorts of foundation and concealer and whatever else. Any sort of makeup removing wipe will pretty much do the trick, and if it's not saturated enough you can add water to it and it can still help get the makeup off but these I just feel like are the total package and for four dollars why not when I do have super duper stubborn makeup I do turn to this I've had it for probably three years <laughs> which goes to show that I really don't use this often but this is just the Sephora brand waterproof eye makeup remover this I will typically pour onto like one of those flat cotton pads or even like a traditional cotton ball and if I have like eyeliner that won't come off or mascara I'll just wipe this across and it comes off immediately I just don't use this all the time because my favorite cleanser of all time the Paula's Choice 
skin balancing, oil reducing cleanser gets all of your makeup off in one step. So maybe on days when I don't exercise, I don't have to use any additional products. I just put my cleanser on my Clarisonic and I go. It's the total package. So just to recap, love my e.l.f. makeup removing cloths. When these can't get the job done, I have to turn to something like this. And when my cleanser can't get the job done, again, I turn to something like this. This is like my last resort. And because it does leave sort of an oily film on your face, you do have to wash that off again after you use this product, unless you don't mind the oils on your face. Another really sweet viewer, she was recently excited that I finally started posting videos again, and she wanted to know about my planning system and what planners that I used. I don't have like a very regimented planning system. I really love planners. Like there's something that I always have, and currently right now I actually have two. Overall, I'm pretty good at just remembering what I have to get done. Things don't have to be written down for me, but I find a lot of satisfaction in just checking off a list. This is my personal planner. This is from Rifle Paper Company. I really love these planners. I particularly love that the um, the metal rings are covered up because I feel like it doesn't risk those, you know, getting out of line and like unhooking from the papers. And they already have the 2019 planners out and available if you're interested. So I can take you on a mini tour. So you open it up and you actually have a tab that shows you the two years that are presented in your planner. And then if you keep flipping, it has a whole section for important dates and holidays that are coming up that year. Then you have a handy dandy little empty blank note section. Next you have the monthly section. So now you have a month overview of every month that is presented in this planner. You have the area that I use the most, which is the weekly breakdown. I love that this includes lines and check boxes because like I said, I love that fulfillment of checking something off a list and it's already pre-made for me and all nice and neat. And then at the top, there's also a quote by different famous people, which I really like. I think that these are very well thought out. You also have a contact section, but who uses that anymore? But this is actually the planner that I use for work. And I like this one a lot because as you can see here, you have your full weekly view by day and I can make my own little check boxes. These are where my like everyday tasks go or if I have a meeting or something, I'll write it here. But then the thing that I love the most about this and why I utilize this most for work is that you have a whole page of notes for every week. So if I'm on a call and I want to take notes, I have it all like an entire page right here with the date of the call so I can remember what it corresponded to and it just really keeps me organized. You have like the actual month overview so that you can write your important dates on each day of the month as one quick outlook and then you can dive into the details of each week. This is something that my coworkers are always like, where'd you get that? So this is by the Blue Sky brand and this was their collaboration with Target. I know that this was sort of a strange one-off video but hopefully that you found it helpful and I answered some of the, you know, lingering questions that get asked a lot. So if you like this video and you want to see more then keep requesting things and for those requests that warrant an entire video I'll definitely be sure to give things the time and research that they deserve if that's the case so if you like this video then please like it and if you want to see more stick around subscribe and I'll see you in my next one bye